Welcome to Let's Play Grandia 2, the Anniversary Edition. Grandia 2 was initially released on the Dreamcast years ago. Being one of few who actually had a Dreamcast, I of course picked up any number of games for it, of which Grandia 2 was one. Grandia 2 is the second game in the Grandia series. There have been a number of games, but Grandia 2 is still generally heralded as being the best of the Grandia series. The first game, I think, was on the PlayStation. I think. But sadly, with the decline of the Dreamcast, Grandia 2, despite the fanfare for the game did not get nearly as much coverage and screen time as it deserved. Realizing that many people still wanted to, be, to play it and the world still needed to see it, it was later re-released on other consoles. I say consoles, the only, other, the only other console that I know it was released on was the PlayStation 2. It was directly ported over and it was not a good port. There was laggy, it was laggy to high heaven, there was skippiness, it was generally not exactly a pleasure to play. And thus Grandia 2 was forgotten to the world for many, a, for many a time. However, earlier this year, Grandia 2 was revamped and re-released for the PC. Very little was changed in this re-release, other than the there are now resolution options, anti-alias is an option, um, all the textures are higher resolution, generally just an update for the, a graphical update for the times. There's also controller support. But that's it. We get to play Grandia 2 in its most original state, yet updated a bit. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. Um, another thing they added was a hard mode. I don't believe hard mode existed on either of the original versions. I think only normal. Like, I don't think there were modes. I think there was only the default, which is normal. Me down, Sky. Sky, over here! Ooh. 
Ryudo, I cannot take much more of this. Quit your belly aching and fly, damn it! I finished the job, didn't I? Yes, in your own crude fashion. Here, take your money. Robert, don't be rude. I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't bother, I'm used to it. I won't have you speaking to his kind. Come, we're leaving. I cannot stand him. What a pompous fool. It's work, not a barrel of laughs. Well, well, you're growing up, Ryudo. Ugh, if it weren't for work, I'd have nothing to do with that guy. But business is business. She was a fine-looking girl, though. I don't care for her or the kindness of strangers. What is it, Sky? Ryudo. Looks like we have another job. Hey, not already. I'm still sore from that fall. No thanks to you. Ouch! Okay, okay! Sky, all right already! It's good to have work, right? says the Church of Granis wants to hire you as a bodyguard. So, working for Granis, huh? Now I really don't want to do it. A job's a job, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. That's what it means to be a geo-hound. And so, we're actually in control of our hero. Ryudo is a Geohound, as he's so plainly stated. A Geohound being someone who takes any job for the right price. As such, he's rather rough around the edges. He's got some fantastic lines, though, let me tell you. But he's rather rough around the edges. And not exactly tactful, but... I don't know, when the world treats you like that old man treats you, you start to not care what other people think about what you say. Okay, so you can run around. You have, uh... adjustable movement speed. You can do... Got the shoulder keys or a joystick, not that you can actually tell what I'm doing at all. Can I change that? There we go. Uh, when you run, the camera zooms out a little bit and you can see more. It'd be kind of cool if it didn't. Okay, so the path was back there. Wound cell. So it's passed back here, but one really important thing about this game is just exploring. Like, look around. Take a look at all that crap in front of you. You can see the little compass in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. I don't think there's anything else up there. There's a save point down there. There's a compass in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Man, now I want to, like, turn it, the camera back. I hate that with a camera! Like, going left to right or right to left? He's like, I'll set it 
I'll see it and I'll go like, oh, this doesn't feel right at all, and I change it, and it's like, oh, this doesn't feel right either, I want to change it back. And I change it back, and that doesn't feel right either. But the compass in the upper right-hand corner actually tells you your distance to your next destination. You can actually change that and see what it is. Granted, I only have one destination in this place, and that's forward, so that's where I go to go forward. Now, if I had been in a battle, I could check this, and I could heal. Also, climb ladders. Can also, open chests. Oh my goodness, I'm changing it back. Oh, there we go. Kind of ladder I can go down. Had I taken the time to look around and not flail the camera around completely, this probably would have gone a little bit easier. Okay, let's see here. Oh, we got a spider! Hold up, I'm gonna... Ah, crap. Now, there's a lot of things that make Grandia 2 absolutely wonderful. The characters and their personalities and the writing and the dialogue is all, oh my goodness, so great. The combat is a thing. You can see the gauge down there on the bottom, where over time, kind of like an active time battle, your bar will slowly, or your character will slowly make his way over to calm, where you can then tell them what to do. Now, depending on what action you give them, they may move from calm to act very slowly, or not. In fact, if it's... If I use something like, say, Tensic and Slash here, it's gonna take a little while to get up there. I'm not going to, though, because of some other very neat things that you can do. What are you doing? Okay, you're just going to run up and attack me. I'm just gonna do this, and I'll explain it afterwards. But a combo will just do regular damage. In fact, this does more damage than your critical. However, critical can interrupt your opponent. Okay, I have no idea why the frame rate is running so horribly on this. Well, it gives you a chance to see what's going on, and I'll see if I can't fix that later. But you saw what happened there, was he... I went, and it went up to act, and then I had to physically run over to him and hit him. This gave him time to not only go from calm to act, but then once he hits act, He's got to run over and hit me. So despite that he's hit act, I was still running over and hit him, and my attack was faster than his, so I could hit him. And that cancelled his. Now you can see he's actually ready to go. But if I'm lucky, my attack should be faster than his. My combo should be faster than his. So this should be enough for me to hit him before he hits me. And thus we end the fight without me having gotten hit at all. I'm gonna have to do something about this. Maybe if I let, maybe it's like V-Sync or something. Let's see if I can turn that on. Either way, there should only be so many fights in the first video here. Big chest, got a lot of things in it. Ah, spider! Okay, let's start by critting you, which should cancel you out of whatever it is you're doing. Now, you can check what the opponent is actually doing. Simply by targeting them. You see the action attack Ryudo. Yeah. 
challenge. Yeah, geez, that is so slow. I even played this a bunch beforehand, and I know it's not the game. Like, it's gotta be because I'm frapsing this right now, which has known to toy with frame rates of things. So, that's cool. But the nature of the combat is surprisingly complex. And I'll I'll be sh at the especially early on I'm going to be showing off a fair number of battles just so people know like what exactly in is involved in these battles. That sounds like me. That Tessa lady is probably important. I'm sure it isn't. commenting on this, the number of them running about. Elena had a portrait too, she's probably also important. Well, that's okay, I'm a Geohound. Now, Geohounds, as I'm sure everyone has seen, being a f really just people who take any job for the right price, are known for being bloodthirsty, loving war, and battle, and fighting, and being greedy, money-grubbing. Willing to lower their morals to whatever the whatever needed state in order to make money. So, yeah, I mean, if you think about that, I'm, I can understand why people aren't terribly fond of them. What's your story, lady? Are you a lady? I can't tell. And Ryudo is also not exactly fond of the church. Which again, if you consider that he's spent his entire life being hated by everyone and having to fight tooth and nail again for every day of living, having to do horrible things in order to continue living, when someone comes by and says, Oh, if you just pray and have faith in Granis, everything will be fine. I don't think I'd be too happy either. <laughs> 